Now I'm gonna assist your abdomen here. I'm gonna pull your pants down. Thank you. Film is still school. I'm going to feel some light tapping again. I'm gonna lightly palpate. Any pain? No. I'm gonna deeply palpate. Thank you. I'm gonna have you sit up. I'm just going to inspect your abdomen. So the contour is flat no scarring or lesions or masses present um, and bilicus is midline in the body i notice you have a piercing have you had any troubles with this piercing no nope. how long have you had it um about five years okay um so no crusting no inflammation or redness i am going to listen to your bowel sounds starting in the right lower quadrant Bowel sounds are present in all four quadrants. I'm now going to percuss. Okay, um, tympani is uh, present in all quadrants. Um, there would be dullness over the spleen and the liver. I'm now going to palpitate um, your abdomen starting in the right lower quadrant where you would find your appendix and your cecum. And then your right upper, which would be your liver um, and your pancreas. Uh, your left upper, which is your liver and your, or your spleen and your stomach. And your left lower, which is your sigmoid and descending colon. Okay, um, I'm just gonna remove this pillow. And can I have you sit up for me? Okay, so no JVP present. So now I'm just gonna move down to your abdomen, so I'm gonna go ahead and lean you back, okay? All right, um, so I'm just gonna pull these down just a little bit. Have you had any discomfort in your abdomen? No. All right. So first I'm just going to look at your skin and it is clear, uh, even color, dry and warm. So I'm gonna start with listening.
Okay, now I'm just gonna press lightly on your abdomen, so if you feel any discomfort, let me know, okay? Okay, any discomfort with that at all? No, no. no? okay. Your abdomen. Okay, so I have to figure out how to set this down. So if you wanna lean up real quick, I don't wanna. <laughs> for you yes so at first I'm just gonna look around um, if you just put your hands to your sides for me I'm just gonna make sure I don't see any major lumps or bumps which I don't don't see anything out of the ordinary have you had any um, stomach pains lately at all no okay. when was your last bowel movement yesterday did it go okay yep. everything okay <laughs> when was your last menstrual cycle um, about three weeks ago. Three weeks ago. Was that normal? Yes. Okay. And do you have any pain with like urination or anything? No. Okay. So I checked your stomach out. I'm gonna have you first. It's only gonna be for a couple of seconds. If you could hold your breath and lift your head up for a second. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure I don't see any major hernias. Okay. Okay. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. I'm not seeing any major um, bulges or anything. So you can relax, you can breathe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so before I um, feel around, I'm going to take a couple listens. Okay. I'm just seeing if anything in your bowel sounds weird. Okay. Let me know if any of this hurts or is tender while I'm doing it. <laughs> Tummy is very active. I can hear it. <laughs> awesome. So I listened to all your bowel, sound, bowel sounds. They sounded good. I heard all the correct gurgling and stuff that I'm supposed to. I'm going to go ahead and listen to some vascular sounds with the other side of my stethoscope. Okay. All of those sound really normal. I don't hear anything um, other than the normal swoosh I'm supposed to. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna go around through your aorta now. Just making sure. Okay. I feel it, I feel the pulsation. Does this hurt when I do this? No. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feel around lightly at first. All I'm feeling for is um, superficial masses and stuff. I am then gonna go in deeper um, I'm feeling for lower, more um, organal masses. So you just let me know if any of this it hurts at any time. Okay. Nothing? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna go in a little deeper, just feeling for those deeper masses. Okay. Okay, I didn't feel anything. I'm gonna feel around your belly button. I'm feeling your umbilicus and that feels very firm. Perfect, so I'm done with the stomach all right so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to be assessing your abdomen um when's the last time you had a bowel movement yesterday okay you're not having any trouble going um making bowel movements or going urinating no ma'am okay perfect so i'm going to get you to lay on your back and can you show me where your belly button is okay that's your umbilicus i'm just going to be looking at your skin looking for any discoloration anything like that 
be looking at um, symmetry, contour, and now I'm going to start listening for pulsations and peristalsis. That's just whenever all that's moving down there, okay? So I'm going to be auscultating all four quadrants down here, okay? sounded great we're done with the stethoscope <laughs> now <laughs> now i'm just going to be palpating your stomach if you feel any kind of pain discomfort or tenderness let me know okay i'm checking in all four quadrants again all over okay symmetry and contour again all oh, that looks great so now i'm going to go ahead and have you lay down and i'm going to Assess your abdominal area. So the abdomen has a um, tan color with a pinkish undertone. Um, I do not see any lesions present. I do not see any extra pulsations or movement. The contour is a flat contour. Um, the abdomen is symmetric bilaterally and um, yeah, symmetric bilaterally. I don't see any lumps or uh, masses. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go ahead and, oh yeah, now I'm gonna look at the umbilicus. So the umbilicus is midline, it is inverted, and there is no um, signs of discoloration or a hernia. Um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and auscultate the four quadrants for bowel sounds, and I would clean my stethoscope. And I heard a gurgling sound in all four quadrants, and it had a frequency of about, um, it would have a frequency of five to 30 times per minute. Um, and it was a high pitch sound. So now I'm gonna go ahead and perform um, light palpation. So um, tell me if you feel any tenderness or pain in all four quadrants. Any tenderness or pain? Okay, so I would do that. And then next I would do a deep palpation on all four quadrants, which is about five to eight centimeters deep. 